variable between patient to patient. It will not be similar. But the only thing is, in clinical settings, it's not in that much use currently because it's a very expensive technique. You can't use directly for the patients. So there will be in coming days, there will be techniques coming up because now the techniques are coming where you can multiplex the cells from different samples and then do the sequencing and the cost is reducing with time. As you know for NGS, the cost has reduced. So similar way it's happening and then these can be used even in the clinical conditions. So you understand the um, stock as, so this is perfectly fine basically uh, that you do with bulk sequencing as well. So what happens in the typical single cell experimental workflow, like you take a tissue, you dissociate into single cells, okay, and these single cells, isolated single cells are separated at single cell RNA sequencing. Because now you can identify later on from the sequences, which sequence is coming from uh, which cell, okay. How you do that, so this is uh, similar in the 10x what happens, you have RT reagents, cells, there is oil, why oil will be used? To make micelles, droplets, okay. So basically the, your gem, this, will be an, uh, an captured in a oil micelle where you have one cell also inside and you use the cell number in a way that most of the droplets will be having single cell, okay, along with your RT mix. And this, in your first read, this is 28 base pair read, where you will sequence the, your unique molecular index, cell barcode. So what it will give you an idea about from which cell it's coming. Read two will be your RNA that is inside. Okay, so this will tell you about which transcript it is. It with 